you'll find these kinds of things all over the Quran. The Quran claims that semen is formed between the backbone and the ribs. So this is regarding these three verses from chapter 86. Verses 5 and 6 together teach that man was created from an ejected fluid. And verse 87 is translated to say, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. The word translated for emerging is yakhruju. Now there are two classical understandings of this verse, both of which refute this being a supposed scientific mistake. The first is that the word yakhruju is referring to the fluid being ejected, which we would understand to be the seminal fluid. For those who aren't aware, seminal fluid is not primarily produced in the testes, but in the seminal vesicles, which are in the abdomen of the male. And the second opinion, which is actually held by al-Qurtubi and by a number of other mufassirin, is that yakhruju is referring to the man being created. In other words, it's the man emerging from between the backbone and the ribs, as opposed to the fluid. We'd understand this to be referring to childbirth. And both of these understandings are considered valid, and either one would refute this being a scientific mistake. 